Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is a rice news analyst, Emmanuel Efene. Great Malabai. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning. Good morning, Rufai. Morning, Good morning, Adesu. Good morning. Yeah, completely in black. No Mo price Mo for guessing the color. <laughs> Good morning, DMD. <laughs> yes, let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, Buhari, news of downed fighter jet devastating, but relieved pilots survive. Hills Dairo Gallantry. Bandits wanted me alive, says officer. Yes, the president, like the rest of us, is rejoicing about how this gallant pilot ejected, evaded uh, the bandits in the bush and eventually was rescued. Yes. The president has a right to be happy about that, just like the rest of us. But we expect more from the president on, on an occasion like this. Because bandits who have the capacity and have demonstrated that capacity to shoot down Nigerian Air Force uh, fighter jets needs to hear from the president whether they should be treated in a particular language. If there is any group that needs special treatment, I think it should be this group, because they have demonstrated capacity to challenge the Nigerian state with their military capacity, with their weaponry. And unfortunately, that was not part of the statement that came out of the presidency. Perhaps the president will need to say something about that in due course. But now, let's look at other stories quickly. The Guardian newspaper, Nigeria's The Guardian newspaper, on uncertainty trail, trails Igboho's arrest in Cotonou 20 days after DSS raid. Igboho, still in Republic of Benin, in handcuffs, lawyer refutes release rumor. DSS mom 24 hours after arrest at Kutunu Airport. Falana, Zekome, others react, call for due process. Arrest is war on Yoruba people, says Adebanjo. Akintoye vows to stop Igbo's extradition to Nigeria. Or Haneze, Yoruba Igbo's conscious, consciousness incarcerated while bandits, terrorists, Room free. I take that again. Ohanese, Yoruba, Igbo's consciousness incarcerated while bandits terrorists room free. Northern Coalition urges federal government to expose sponsors of Kanu Igboho. Now, other newspapers, almost uh, all the newspapers I have here, apart from this day, are leading with the Igboho story. Daily Independent newspaper grants well of opposition trails, arrest of Sunday Igboho. Leading lawyers in Bene Republic are now in charge. Akitoye, Igboho's arrest is like pursuing shadow, not substance. Ozekome, federal government's inability to provide security created agitation, says Ladoja. Nothing harmful must happen to Igboho a Fanny Ferrer wants why he can't be extradited to Nigeria by his lawyer. Yes, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Igboho chained like animal in Kotonou, lawyer alleges, may appear in court today. A Fanny Ferrer Middleburg Forum of Hanese, a Zekoma blast federal government. Provide details of how Kanu arrest was arrested, UK tells federal government. Yes, this. Uh, Tribune lead story, a statement from uh, Igboho's lawyer, Chief Yomi Ali, who is leading his legal uh, challenge. Now, the Nation newspaper, Igboho's arrest, diplomatic legal fireworks open in Benin. Lawyers to fight against his extradition to Nigeria, how agitator was arrested inside plane in Cotonou. Now, the Punch newspaper, Igbuho's extradition. Buratai pushes move. Activist team meets Benin officials fight process. Now, if you are wondering 
what Burata is doing. Tanko Burata, yes, is Nigeria's ambassador to the Republic of Benin. The immediate past chief of army staff it was posted only last month, and now he has a job to do. How Igbo escaped? How Igbo escaped? Lured back to airport by travel agent, arrested on return. Federal government more active in arresting peaceful agitators than bandits, declares Afenifere Pandev. Akintoye alleged federal government working with terrorists, promoting ethnic cleansing. That's what, according to the report there in the front page of the Punch newspaper. Yes, according to the report, the Nigerian ambassador to Benin, Tunko Brotai, had put the Beninois authorities on alert as regards Igbo's movement, and it was no surprise that the airport security, Beninois authorities now arrested Igbo at the airport. And Nigerian, the, the legal team of, um, of Sunday, Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, are fighting it out there. Buhari vow now the Daily Trust newspaper. Buhari vows to fish out troublemakers as federal government moves to extradite Igboho. How Interpol arrested agitator wife in Kutunu. Don't surrender him. He won't get justice in Nigeria. Lawyer arrest won't stop cessation agitation. Large Georgia. DSS keeps more. Now the Daily. Sun newspaper aftermath of arrest in Kotonou, confusion over Sunday Igbo's arrest. The Vanguard newspaper extradition battle looms over Sunday Igbo's arrest. Why the New Telegraph newspaper, why Sunday Igbo may not be extradited? Lawyer. Now, other stories quickly. The Business Day newspaper, Nigeria may be left out as the world pumps more oil. Yes, so faced with teething technical and operational issues which have been exacerbated by the recent rise in pipeline leaks and sabotage, Nigeria may miss out on an opportunity to improve its earnings despite its current quest by some major oil producers to supply more crude oil. Now, the foreign newspapers quickly, if we go to the UK, where the independent newspaper is reporting industry leaders eat out at pink exemption chaos. Yes, bosses brand ministers plan for avoiding isolation unworkable. Yes, ministers have been accused of sowing confusion in the UK over COVID controls as business leaders warn plans to exempt key staff from self-isolation were unthinkable. Yes, according to this report, Yesterday, Downing Street reprimanded a minister who suggested that businesses could tell staff to ignore pings, asking them to quarantine. Now, the Times of UK, the Times of UK, migrants crossing into Britain hit new record. Patel criticized as 280 sailed over the channel in a day. Last year's total surpassed in, five, in five, five months early the number of illegal migrants moving across the English Channel to the UK is rising by the day. In seven months, they've already surpassed the number total of last year. Now, the Wall Street Journal, quickly, the Wall Street Journal, US set to waive opposition to Russia, Germany pipeline, the Wall Street Journal. Now, the U.S. and Germany have reached an agreement allowing the completion of the, once the controversial Russia natural gas pipeline. The agreement to be made public on Wednesday is bringing to an end years of tension between two allies, America and Germany, over this Russian pipeline. But again, an agreement has to be reached. The past two administrations, Obama and Donald Trump, never allowed this. But Joe, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, will agree on this. 
And of course, part of the conditions is that Germany will agree to assist Ukraine in energy-related projects and diplomacy. Ruben Rufai and Adesua. Well, unfortunately, if any, we seem to have run out of time, uh, it seems, although it will have been nice to comment on how terrorists have acquired what looks like additional capacity to be able to shoot down, you know, uh, Nigerian Air Force uh, jets, either they are on reconnaissance or they are on a surveillance, uh, surveillance uh, mission. But again, let's commend Flight Lieutenant Abayomi Dairo, uh, who was able to escape. Uh, this is a wake-up call for the Nigerian authorities. And it will also have been nice to uh, make some comments on the arrest of uh, Sunday Bo, as has been reported, although some of the details are still not very clear yet. But we thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning.